This video gives you an overview of Informatica Enterprise Data Lake, a single collaborative environment for self-service big data discovery and preparation for data analysts. Enterprise Data Lake provides you with an end-to-end -end experience to discover, prepare, publish, visualize, schedule, and operationalize data assets in a self-service manner. The home page provides a list of projects you are working on, various activities happening, and links to useful videos. As a data analyst, you typically look for data assets that can help you create reports or analyze data to answer specific questions. You can upload a delimited text file from your local drive to the data lake. The application stores the uploaded data as a hive table in the data lake. Start by searching for an asset called Call Details. Enterprise Data Lake uses Enterprise Data Catalog's Google-like search capability to discover and explore data assets related to call details in or outside of the data lake. You can use the facets on the left-hand side of the page to limit results to tables in the data lake. The overview page gives you business context and technical information about the asset. You can also preview the sample data. The Lineage and Impact view shows you where the data came from and where it is being used. This helps you understand if the data is trustworthy and is fit for use. In the Expanded view, you can see an aggregate table that you might be able to use in your project. View the data and then add the asset to your project. View the associations and relationships of this asset with other assets in the enterprise. You can see that the table is associated with many other assets such as data domains, views, and users who are associated with the table. View the tables that contain the CMD ID, data domain, in one or more columns. You determine that the customer master table is worth examining. Review the data quality to determine if you want to add it to your project. Now you're ready to prepare the assets added to the project. On the Project Details page, you can see the project overview, any collaborators on the project, and worksheets for assets that were added earlier. The application makes recommendations on additional or alternate assets you might want to use in the project. Enterprise Data Lake uses the Claire Embedded Machine Learning Discovery Engine to determine which assets to recommend. The application also shows you why the asset is recommended. You can choose to add recommended assets or replace existing assets in your project with the recommendations. If you're working with other users on a project, you can add them as collaborators. You can assign permissions to enable a collaborator to view, edit, or co-own the project. Now you're ready to prepare the data assets. When you click Prepare, the application loads a worksheet for each asset you added to the project. You use this interactive, spreadsheet-like interface to explore and prepare the data and capture the desired data transformation logic. Sample the data in each asset you add to your project is the first step in data preparation. You perform all operations on the sample data rather than directly changing the source data. You can edit the sampling settings to load data that meet your needs. If you're in the current sampling selection panel, you can choose columns to remove from the worksheet. You can also create a filter to include specific rows. You can specify multiple values, each separated by a comma. For sampling criteria, Choose random rows to view the rows at random from the entire data asset. 
You can also choose first rows. You can also enter the number of rows to sample. Now you're ready to load the sample data into the worksheet. Explore the data. The overview gives you an overview of the data in the worksheet. The column overview gives statistical and profiling information for the values within the column. The application also offers suggestions on how you can manipulate or improve the data. Data preparation typically involves operations to blend, summarize, and cleanse data. You decide to join the data in two of the worksheets into a new worksheet. Select the other worksheet in the project that contains the data that you want to combine with the data in the current worksheet. Enter a name for the new worksheet that will be created by the join operation. The application uses intelligent column overlap analysis to suggest potential join keys. You can also choose your own keys. Now that you've combined the data assets, you want to add a column containing the total daily charges for each customer. You can create your own formula or use any of the hundreds of formulas provided for data preparation. You decide to create your own formula to calculate the total daily charges for each customer. Select the columns to include in the formula. Enter the name of the column to add to the worksheet containing the formula results. You can also right click on the column to quickly do common transformations. Every action or step that you take on the worksheet is automatically captured in the recipe. You can edit, delete, and copy and paste recipe steps, as well as view the data in back in time mode. Click Edit, then add an additional column to the formula. Click Done when you're finished. The application updates the worksheet in back in time mode so you can review the impact of the formula change. Exit back in time mode to apply the change to the worksheet and continue preparing the data. You can also apply predefined rules to help with cleansing, transforming, and validating the data. Apply a rule to validate email addresses. Enter email as the column containing the values to validate. Then apply the rule. The application adds a column indicating valid and invalid email addresses. The value frequencies panel allows you to filter only the invalid addresses. You decide to view the total daily charges incurred in each state for the last six months of the year. You use a pivot table to do this. Select state as the group by rows column. Select month as the pivot column. Select the column you added to the worksheet with the formula as the calculated column, and then select the calculation to perform. The application adds the pivot table in a new worksheet. Now that the data preparation for the merged data set is complete, you can publish the asset to the data lake. During publication, the recipe steps are applied at scale to the original source tables to create a new hive table. You can publish the asset now, or you can schedule the publication activity. Scheduling the publication 
allows you to update the asset in the data lake with new data on a regular basis. Once the data set is published, the recipes you created are automatically translated into big data mappings for operationalization and monitoring by IT developers. You can monitor the publication activity and other activities in the My Activities page, where you can also view scheduled activities and manage schedules. Now you want to validate the data and ensure the recipe steps are correct. Or you might want to do a detailed multi-column analysis. The application integrates with Apache Zeppelin to create a notebook with paragraphs, represented as charts, that show correlations between different columns in the data set. If you feel the charts created in the notebook might help other users evaluate or assess the usefulness of the asset, you can share the app notebook so others can view it. Once in the data lake, the asset will be available in the catalog for consumption by other data analysts or by advanced analytical reporting tools. You can do operations on the asset such as copy it, export it to a database, or download it as a CSV or Tableau data extract file. You can also view the project notebook. At the project level, you can share the project, edit its properties, and view the project history. You can also view a flow diagram that shows you how worksheets in the project are related and how they are derived. The diagram is especially useful when you work on a complex project. This concludes the video on using Enterprise Data Lake. Thanks for watching.